Was I alright last night? I mean, I mean, did I do anything I shouldn't have? You we're awful drunk. Yeah, I know. Apart from that, you were a perfect gentleman. Me? Mm -hmm. Perfect gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lila, what, what are these plays you're in? I mean, what, what did you do in them? Well, I acted silly. Yeah, but what do you do when you act? I mean, how do you do it? You just make believe you're someone else. You make believe for serious. Gee, I don't see how anyone can do that. <laughs> what, what were the names of these shows? I mean, where were you? Well, when I left your folks down in Oklahoma, I went off with the Comiskey Brothers Comedians. I stayed with them a year. Then I was sick for a while up in North Dakota. Then when I got well, I came down to Des Moines and got a job with the Daisy Curtis Fun Makers. The Daisy Curtis Fun Makers. <laughs> yeah. Daisy Curtis worked as a soubrette for the Comiskey Brothers, but they had a fight and she left. So that was before I got sick. She told me when she left that if I ever needed a job to look her up, so I did. It was kind of a vaudeville show she had, playing movie houses all through Iowa and Nebraska. Oh, business was good, too. That was before the Depression. You should have seen Daisy Curtis. On stage, she was very pretty. I mean, wore a beautiful wig and lovely gowns, but off stage, <laughs> she looked awful funny. Cut her hair just like a man, and wore pants, and smoked cigars, and swore just like a sailor. <laughs> she was good-hearted, though, and I liked her. She was good to me. I like anyone who's good to me. How long that job last? Mm, about two years. I got a better one with Gladys Boomer and her Texas Blonde. The movie actress? She is now, but she wasn't then. It was an all-girls show. Her mother ran it. We played almost every state west of the Mississippi. I sang and danced. How? That. <laughs> show me? Come on. <clears throat> well, something like this. <laughs> Come on, let's see some more. No, I'm winded. I haven't danced in a long time, and I'm out of practice. <laughs> well, anyway, I stayed with Gladys Boomer for about three years till her mother took her out to Hollywood and got her in pictures. Now, now she's very big time. Her mother really pushed her. I wrote her once asking if there was anything for me in Hollywood, but she never answered my letter. You snubbed you, huh? Well, when you get famous, you get awful busy, I guess. You think you'll ever be in movies? Well, stranger things have happened. Gee, that'd be swell, wouldn't it? Oh, it sure would. Then you'd probably snub us, me and Mom, huh? I would not, Kenny. I wouldn't snub anyone. Be just as loyal to my friends as ever. Okay. Then what happened? Well, then I got an acting job with Henry Weissman's Gypsies, and then came the Depression. Here I am, wondering if I'll ever work again. Don't you know how to do anything other than acting? No, I could never give up show business. It's in my very blood. Besides, nothing else I know how to do. Don't you know shorthand and typing? <laughs> no. When I was in high school, I stayed away from all those hard courses. I took things like acting and glee club and cooking and sewing, you know? Those things were fun. Guess always one of the fun out of life. Who doesn't? Besides, I'm a very good actress. You should have seen me in Smiling Through. That was my best part. Oh, that play had such a sad ending. See, I played an old-fashioned kind of girl in it and wore this great hoop skirt made of white lace. And the villain in the play, oh, Ricky, played the part. I was going to shoot the man I loved. I couldn't bear for the man I loved to die, so I ran between him and the bullet. And Ricky shot me right through the heart. I sank into my lover's arms and died. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I saw that in the, uh, in the movies, Norma Shear. Oh. I don't like those sad pictures. You don't? No, I like westerns. Some of my friends said I was just as good as Norma Shear, and they meant it too. Gee, uh, I am beginning to feel kind of hungry. What would you care for, sir? Some tomato juice. And what else, sir? Uh, uh, how about some pancakes? Pancakes? Do you know how to make them, Lila? Yeah. I mean, would it be too much trouble? <laughs> I guess I can manage. And some sausage? Sure. I can make some sausage. Gee, that'd be swell. So tomato juice, pancakes, and sausage. Coming right up. You want to know something, Lila? 